So hello guys welcome back to the channel in this video we'll cover the lab that is drive insights from BigQuery challenge lab. So first of all click on start lab then open cloud console incognito window and in case you haven't subscribed to the channel do subscribe it and like the video. Now here is signing in automatically if it asks for username and password do check the lab instruction. Now lab. click on I understand click on the checkbox and click on agree and continue. Now activate the cloud shell by clicking on that icon. Just follow the way I am doing and you will be able to complete the lab without any issue. Click on continue. In case you have any doubt, do let me know in the comment section. Now in the description box of this video, I have shared one repo. So do check it out. We will be using this. And here we have to do some manual steps too. So do check it out and follow the video carefully. So now enter it. Now basically here we have to enter the value that is month so month is june so 06 make sure to enter the value which is present on your lab instructions like in case it might be april for you or june so as you can see date is 25 june now hit enter now here we have to enter the threshold so now hit the check my progress you will get the score without any issue here enter the value now hit check my progress for this task now for task number three wait for the task to get checked now here we have to enter the threshold so as you can see here 3000 it might be different for you now click on enter now again hit the score so here we have to add in the format of year month and date so year is 2020 then dash and then month is april and then dash again and first of april you have to enter the start date and hit enter now ended so april is of how many days it's 30 days but in case of may it's 31st so accordingly at the last date and i repeat april is of 30 days while in may it's 31 depending on the month do check the calendar and enter the last date whether it's 30 or 31 so now from here hit the check my progress for task number four get the score without any issue and for threshold value again it's 12,000 and for you it might be different too. So always check the value from lab instruction only. Now in case you haven't liked the video, like it and do comment down below. Also subscribe to the channel. Here we have to enter again start date that is 2020 dash 0 to 24. As you can see 24 February to 12 March 2022. So end date will be here different. So for end date, type 2020, 03, dash, as you can see, 12 March, so we will write 12. Now hit enter. Now finally, here we have to hit check my progress and here for percentage, as you can see, 20 percentage mentioned. So enter 20 percent only. This type 20 and then hit enter. Now for task number 8, we have to enter the limit which is again 20. It might be different in your case, so always check lab instruction. Now here on the task number 9, where we have to check cumulative daily growth rate. So basically, here we have to select second date. So that is again 2020-06 to 25. It might be different for you so always check as i repeat again from lab only now let's hit enter and wait for this command to execute so finally we have to create a looker report so now hit check my progress and here the looker report date is from 23rd, 28th of march right 2020 to 23rd of april so now enter as you can see it's here date range now hit enter now again 2020 that's 04 and it's 23rd of april so make sure to export the date value correctly in case you make any mistake you can rerun the rerun the command from github again and then check the score so finally as you can see we are done with the lab in case you face any issue, do let let's me know in the comments. Let's check my progress for all the task. 
and in case you have not subscribed to the channel do subscribe it and like the video so as you can see we got 80 out of 100 but we will get 100 out of 100 so just refresh the browser or hit check my progress again so finally we got full score on the lab that's the way we have to complete this lab thank you guys have a